G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So, it's all about repotting this year. Um, and these two Trident River, Rid of a Rock, Rid of a Rock Trident Maples um, are ready for a repot. Now, the reason I'm doing these ones um, is last year I decided not to repot them. So, this is the first year I've let them go two, two, se or two seasons without a repot. So I would like to see what the roots look like after two seasons. Um, I just felt, uh, when I used to repot these every year, it looked like they weren't as strong, vigorous root growers as other tridents. So this year I decided to, um, or last year I decided to leave them alone and not repot them. So let's gonna have a look at um, and seeing how these are. These are quite nice, really nice um, root of a rock tridents that that root's missing, so don't need that. But, you know, I'll sort of cling on the side. This wire is just holding this the whole thing in the pot. Um, I've got a wire here that's just holding all these roots in. And I think that's why I didn't repot it last, last year, because I wanted these roots to really establish in the soil and not, um, not, not be loose. So I think this wire can come off this year. And we'll have a look at that as well. Um, on the other hand, this tree, it looks pretty stable in terms of the roots. Just, it, as I said, it didn't fill the pot enough with roots on a previous occasion. So I decided I'm gonna let it go another year. All right, let's get cracking. Um, maybe I'll do a big one first. I'm just gonna get rid of this wire. I'll try and keep the camera there so you can see. I think it'll just come right out, but let's, let's work. Much more improved this year. So look at that, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm gonna get all this salt out of this. I like that pot, I think I'll keep it in that pot. Um, let's so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb all this out um, and have a look really good look at the roots. I use, I use my hands, or you can use these guys, chopsticks, I mean, root hooks, and comb it all out. When you comb, things will fall and break, which is fine. Um, but you can see, this rock is quite a big rock for this tree, and there's nothing really behind. Um, it's all pretty much in the front, but it's all cleaned right nicely onto the tree. So I'm just going to comb this out, and then I'm going to wash this, all this soil out, because it's been two years. It's, I can see there's really a lot of fines starting to happen um, and I want to get rid of all that. So it's pretty much going to be a big, big chop. I'm really keen to see how these roots have all, have they really intertwined and then I can take this off and don't have to keep that wire on there. It's nice to always comb the roots before you cut them. So you can see how long they are. Some nice new roots have, have been created in there, which is good. Some nice, that's some, some are too heavy, like that's really heavy. So anyway. So not a bad, not a bad um, bunch of roots. And my roots, pretty much, I'll move this size just so I can show you. I'll pretty much come in and go straight across And that's it. Quick snip, done, they're done. But now the bit I need to do is really give this a wash. Um, get all those fine finds out of the out of the mix and then put it in a brand new batch of soil and off it goes again. I'll just prepare the pot by putting a bit of wire and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after I've done it, giving it a wash. Okay. Alright, so give it a nice wash. They look really nice and healthy, nothing too extraordinary. Um, I might again leave it for another two years. I don't think this needs to be rock potted every, every year. Um, I want to clean some of this moss away. 
so you can see how nice the roots are actually and I think we can eliminate that wire because I think the roots have done really well I'm hugging on, I know there's one at the back here that I need they look really good um, they've done well, I'll just tuck that one in when I wire it up that's another one that tucks in there there's a nice, nice spread of roots all along there which I'm really happy with so that's really good so, all good, so this goes straight back in now I've prepared the pot I'll put a wire on either side because I'm going to tie the roots down this, this time around, not the whole rock um, and I put some soil in there and now it's a matter of positioning it now I think I want it to be just off towards the right a bit and then this sits kind of in the middle so I'm just changing a little bit the angle so you should be able to see it's just more to this side and the tree sits more in the middle hope you guys can see that that looks right to me I think I think I wanted to change that and that looks good cool and that's it get the wire wired around Now, because this rock's very heavy, um, it kind of kind of anchors the tree anyway. So this rock is, I mean, this wire is just just there temporarily. Doesn't just holds it roughly in place. Um, so that's good enough. But that rock is so heavy, it doesn't really move the tree. The tree doesn't really move around that much. Um, and let's just fill it up with soil, and we're done with this one. Well, this one now, because there's a lot more room, I'll be able to use the chopstick a bit more. So I can, in a way, I can show you how you use the chopstick. Actually, I need to bring it up a bit. Now, the tree was falling away when I went to the side. It was falling back down too much. So I've got to kind of lift it up and get that saw underneath that rock just to hold it. That's why it's important to look at the tree all the way around when you're repotting. Now we get our chopstick and work it in and you'll see it reduces, really reduces the soil level quite substantially. So you can see how that goes down into it more. I use my fingers as well to push through, push, push, push as well while whilst I work it in. You can see the I don't know if you can see, but that's really flattening. Use your fingers if you want as well to really flatten all the air pockets. Like you see now there's a big gap in there. So go back, refill it up. That's been feeling much better. This next side needs a bit of work. I like to always give it a little tap. Now, I'd like to get some moss and just put it around the base here. Um, as I said in my previous video, I've got to go out in the, on the road and have a look for, for nice collections of moss somewhere, but I haven't had a chance, and plus we're in lockdown here in Melbourne, um, so probably not the best time to do that, but we'll, we'll um, see what I can do about getting some moss and, and putting it around here. So that's tree done, number one done. I like it. I've, I like the piset plate. I've positioned it across more this way, and now it can sit there for another two years. And I'll put that away. Let's get quickly into this one. Again, this is a nice little root over rock. That was really solid. That looks more solid than the other one. So I'm going to have to try and cut this wire off. It's not coming out easily. I've got to find my root hook. Where did I put that? Hang on. There it is. There it is. I really like to use this, this part, of the, part of the root hook that this comes in. It really helps get underneath in between the pot. Uh, 
Wow, this is really solid. I think it's got way more roots than the other one. Also, you've got to be careful not to go too hard and break the pot. It's coming up now. Whoa. All right. So, you can see that. Pretty solid. Much more solid than that. Maybe that one I did repot last year, and this one I haven't repotted. Could be, could be the difference. Um, sometimes I should remember more often, but oh, just trying to get the little plastic grates out of it. Look, there's nothing left in that pot. Um, cool. Anyway, I'll do some cleaning up. Uh, so now I will say try. Again, I'll be combing this out and then heavily, heavily repotting, heavily cutting back, washing it. Um, you notice I try and comb all the way around. Whilst there's nice big particles of pumice in here, I think a lot of the other stuff is broken down. Um, now this is when I think I was using diatomite, unfortunately, and that's it just um, was a bit fine. And it didn't do well, so that's why I've changed to pumice. So this tree I definitely was in more than two years, I think, because that was when I changed my mix around to use pumice. Looks like I do have some wire on this here as well around here so it'd be good to see what's happened there. Did I hold all those roots in place with that wire? Can you see that? There's a wire there. I think, I think it's done right. So the combing now pretty much cleaned up a lot of those roots. But this is very gluggy soil, so I'm gonna go give this a wash and we'll come over and look at what it looks like after that, okay? Okay, so I've washed all that um, that old soil out and you can see the really nice fine feeder roots everywhere. You've got some couple of little big ones, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice fine, washed all that other stuff away. Prepared the pot, came going back in the same pot, nothing, nothing too fancy. I've got a Y going crossways because I want to tie the tree this way. And, uh, and it's just a matter of finding the right place, position for it. Let me just have a look myself. So I wanted a bit more, the roots almost out here, going this way. This is kind of sitting in the top, in the middle. Pretty good. Just need a bit more soil on this side. Just to hold it there. I think I can do that. Like that. Around there. This one, I might need my pliers to tighten this one. Just to hold it in place a bit better. It's good. It's nice and firm. It's not moving anywhere. It looks nice. Okay. Look at those wires come in with the fresh soil. Oh, it feels so nice when you feel so good when you see a tree get repotted. I don't know, it just feels like ah. Oh, it's got fresh soil, it's got fresh mix. That, this was really compacted, as you saw. So this is a real treat, I think. I just find like trees are uh, breathing a sigh of relief in a way uh, when they get some fresh soil in them.
That's two of those little guys done. Give it a nice little tap. Again, I'd like to put some moss around there just to keep it nice and moist in that root area. But another little cute little try to maple, root of a rock. Two of these pages done. It's real nice. Ugh. This one's a bit heavier, but very nice to do. Very nice to see. Repotted, fresh soil, ready to go. Sit on the benches. Another year done. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. These are more medium, well, kind of mediumish, still small size, but not as small as my other two little minis that I did in a previous video. But same process. It's always the same process. Nothing, nothing different. Uh, just a bit more work and a bit more soil uh, and a bit more roots to come off. That's about it. But all in all, yeah, repotting always it's a job you got to do. But you know, enjoy it and it'll fly, fly by, and you get to actually see and experience how the roots are growing, which is really good and a positive experience. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.